Hey guys, it's the Fin Means Win here, and welcome to another video today where I'm bringing you some Warframe game gameplay in the background. But today's video is going to be more of a commentary, really, to um, air my thoughts and feelings with regards to um, the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. Obviously, um, obviously, they've been announced now for quite some time. Um, we've all seen the press conferences. I'm sure we've all seen videos with regard to each and every single one of the um, consoles, and you probably have your own views on them. And I've not really had a platform to express my own views, so I think this is a good opportunity to do so. Especially with the news now that um, I'm just reading online that a, um, an, a an analyst from an investment firm has stated that the PlayStation 4 could retail for as little as £230. And the Xbox One for £260. Uh, that would be for in US dollars, $339 for the PS4 and $399 for the Xbox One. Um, that is because he says that the basically um, the two upcoming consoles um, could launch significantly cheaper than their predecessors um, due to cheaper build materials, um, which he estimates at around um, £180 for the. Um, X PS4 and no, sorry, that's for the X yeah, PS4 and then on 210 pounds for the Xbox One, respectively. Um, he's quite apparently he's quite confident in that the alternative pricing models, but the extra services offered through Xbox Live and PS Network could bring down the upfront costs. Um, obviously, um. The ability, obviously, because if Xbox, do, my Microsoft, sorry, do charge users to use the Xbox Live feature, um, which obviously um, many of the users are going to take up that subscription space platform on release. So that is one way he's saying that they can subsidise it. Obviously, PlayStation 4, they've never used really and um, prepaid network subscriptions, and it could be. Um, a very difficult different scenario when it comes to Sony obviously a selling point of the PlayStation 3 was the fact that the PlayStation Network is free and Sony have liked to hammer that home in recent years and I think this maybe um, will drive the PlayStation 4 um, price up the comments made by this analyst obviously do contradict the estimate put forward by Amazon which put a pre-order price tag um, of £599 on both consoles now that is quite a lot of money. I mean, even you've got to say. I mean, obviously the but just below three hundred pound as both has been quoted by this analyst um, could be. It's still a bit of hefty amount of money um, when you consider obviously this um, recession that the current, the current economic climate that the world is currently in. And you've got to beg yourself the question: which one's better? Obviously, because this is going to be an investment to some users. I mean, you do have the fanboys, and I mean. I do agree to some extent as being a one with a decent play, PC myself that um, go for neither and pick a PC because a PC is going to last you in the long run but I know some people do just like the fact that um, they can just plug a disc in, they know it's going to run, obviously you've got the specs on your PC, some games aren't going to run, you know it, there's a lot more complex complexity to play uh, PC gaming and um, obviously some people do um, prefer the um, controller compared to the keyboard and mouse especially when it comes to first person shooters I know a lot of people I myself included do have a little bit of difficulty with it I mean I do use an Xbox controller when playing PC shooter games much like the game that we are playing today in the commentary but with regards to the um, 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 consoles themselves obviously Sony have been waiting for E3 to announce what the PlayStation 4 actually looks like itself. We're well aware of what the Xbox One looks like obviously with E3 round the corner it would be interesting to see um, what the PS4 hasn't looked for us because the Xbox One is a very nice um, looking console myself to be honest um, it's basic but I like the base uh, the basic look about it it's very nice it's not um, it's a very sleek and sophisticated design in my eyes obviously the Xbox specifications it's got an 8 core CPU 8 gigabyte system memory 500 gigabyte hard drive a blu-ray drive um, wireless Wi-Fi built-in, HDMI in and out, and a USB 3.0. Obviously, um, both systems are going to be running an AMD CPU. Both of them will be running an uh, x86 octa-core CPU. And obviously, being both built by AMD, 
uh, is going to allow um, game developers to use um, pretty much a similar CPU to run um, games. Now, obviously, when it comes to the RAM, the Sony um, Sony have scored with the um, RAM using eight gigabyte GDDR5 RAM, whereas the Microsoft One will be using eight gigabyte RAM as well, but it's DDR3. Now, I myself, I mean, I do claim to know a bit about computers. I'm not too clued up with regards to RAM, but I think um, in the long term, the Sony RAM will be a lot more time um, time proof which has the better control and obviously we're both well aware of the controller shots um, it's going to be a, a debate that's never really going to end they've not really changed them compared to the previous generation controllers I mean obviously you've got the touchpad in the center of the PlayStation and uh, the DualShock 4 controller and the Xbox controller obviously slightly changed with the Xbox button being moved to the top but you know not much has changed there and to be honest you wouldn't expect you wouldn't expect them to change it's kind of like the trademark obviously everyone knows what the controllers look like another key battle obviously I would like to predict is the Xbox One Kinect um, taking on the PS4i obviously the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 are going to appeal to more core, core gamers um, with the mature launch titles but obviously they're both changing the way with the, regards to the motion sensing devices there's been a lot of press with regards to the Xbox One's motion sensing device but I mean it's not um, I don't I don't really believe some of the hype about it. I don't think that Microsoft would inbuilt some of the features that have been claimed to be implemented. But we'll have to see, wait and see. I mean E3 is round the corner. It'll be very interesting to see um whether the um game the the developers themselves actually bring out any more information with regards to the consoles at the conference. But we'll have to wait and see with bated breath. Now obviously the main um meat and bones of this video is going to be with regards to the um, pricing of the video uh, and the consoles themselves so please do let me know your thoughts and feelings and until next time um, I've been the Finn Means Wim remember please leave a like rating if you do enjoy these more laid back commentaries please do suggest any other ones and until then goodbye guys